Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19. With me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Thursday the 3rd of December. We have new mods and some updates, but everything seems to have gone out of sync a little bit. It's all a bit puzzling. Yesterday, on the 2nd of uh, December, we had a couple of mods drop and some updates. And then this morning, 3rd of December, fairly early, We've had a load more mods come out and then some more updates. So I don't know, again, whether or not these mods I'm going to look at are yesterday's released late or today's early. I'm going to do this mod review. If any more mods come out again later, I will then review those, but that may not come out till the following day. We'll see what happens. It's all a bit peculiar at the moment. Um, we have had some updates. I'm only doing today's it's all a little bit complicated, but I'm doing today's. The updates are as follows. From the top left, the Fent 900 Favorite Vario by Smetty. The New Holland CR690 by Rick Black Labelle TWD Modding. The Massey Ferguson 6600 by Blauer. The Robert GMC by Paolo 5090R. And the Animal Fuel Tanks by Farmari 99 have all had updates today. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do is the two mods that dropped yesterday, there's only two, so I'm going to wrap those up in with today's, if it is indeed today's. So starting off, we have got in front of us the service trailers. There's only one here, but there are trailers. 12.21 megabytes to download. The first one, I'm not sure what the slot count is. But when we have a look at the rest, it's nine slots, four slots, five slots, and six slots. This is by TF2020 Mods. These are, in essence, a mobile pallet, a mobile big bag. Because what these are is you pay to hire the trailer. So you, you kind of, you buy it, but you're paying for hiring the trailer and the contents. Once you've emptied the trailer, the trailer disappears. So you don't actually own the trailer as such. It's an interesting idea. Again, something a little bit different. Rather than just having pallets or big bags and you have them delivered or you go and collect them or you fill up a trailer or whatever, you actually just get the trailer with contents in it. Nicely made mods, loads of details. We have the option to change tyre configurations and colours and that kind of thing. Trailer hitches on them and you know they act like a regular trailer does, but they just come with a product in. So what we'll do is we'll go into tools, and I'm pretty sure these are in trailers. I did have a look in pallets to start off with because I wasn't sure how this was going to pan out. So here at the end, now that first one, the one I've got, yeah, uh, is saying one slot because I've got one. But I can't find anywhere because I don't technically own it to tell me what the slot count is. Regardless, the next one then is nine, then four, then five, then six. So there are different types of trailer you can go for with different capacities some of the capacities do change but in essence each one of these you can have with any of the contents it says down the bottom so the one i've got already is the sek802 service and they all say service on them but if we go along to say the farm tech doesn't matter which one the tdk1600 service these all have slightly varying options available with regards to color schemes and things like that i'm not going to go through each and every one of them needless to say we can change the main color to anything on that palette like so rim color we can also change to anything on that palette design color i think is the cover so let's say a load of options we've got the option for lizards trailer borgs michelins and back again and each of the trailers will have a few different configurations along those lines. But you can configure the trailer to what you want. Then we come to capacity. So you can have seeds, fertilizer, lime, manure, and you just scroll through until you get the one you want. There'll be different prices. So what you actually get charged will be the lease of the trailer and the price for the contents. But I'll be honest with you, the prices are pretty good. When you've got fertilizer there, 14,000 litres, 21,300 not too bad seeds 14,000 litres for 12,900 that's a pretty good seed price and like I said you go for everything everything's in here hay grass silage total mix ration pig food oats so you can buy it collect it come and take it to your farm 
Now, these aren't empty trailers. So you don't buy this and then fill it up yourself. I just want to make that clear. Don't buy it thinking, I've just bought a trailer. It, it will come full. If you empty it to then fill it up, the trailer will vanish. So, you know, and you just keep going through until you find what, what you want. Should came, wood chip, from me back to seed again. Which is quite cool, isn't it? Now, a couple of these have some different configurations. Like the one I started off with, the SEK802. When we come down to, we can do rim colour, main colour, design colour. But under seed, you've got a couple of configurations. It starts off with now 8,000 litre. So I've got seeds, 8,000 litre. Then I can go seeds, 12,000 litre. Then fertiliser, fertiliser 12,000 litre. And it will go through every single option with the two different capacity sizes. So like I say, have a fiddle around. Look at each of the trailers because a couple of them do change. I think it might just be that one. Because these, I think, stay pretty standard, the TKD302s. That one's a fixed axle, fixed axle uh, main spar, and that one's a swivel front axle. Those are the only differences. Um, now, I'm not going to use this for feeding pigs, but you can. It's pig food. I'm just going to sell it because I want to show you what I mean about the trailer disappearing. So I bought it. It's got 12,000 litres of pig food already in it. It's like the mobile silos and all, you know, all those things you can get. It's just a different variation on it. So what we'll do is we'll sell the pig food. Like I said, you don't have to sell the pig food. You can use it for your pigs, which is probably what most people would buy it for. But it means you don't actually have to have your own trailer. You can just go off, get it, take it, fill up your pigs, and then when it dis when you run out, it goes. You don't, you don't ever own it. It's quite cool. So when it's empty gone. As the pallet wood it disappears. So there you go. That's the service trailers by TF2020 Mods. The other one that came out yesterday is this. I'm not going to... and This is a bit jokey. I'm, I'm not going to give this much time. This is FS17 by CashDan18. 0.61 megabytes download. One slot on console which i'm going to specify it is a copy of fs17 that you can place around your house do whatever you like with but what's more insulting is it's the pc version come on if you're going to release it on console at least make it a console version <laughs> so if you want to if you're playing on console you can download this and you can get yourself a copy of fs17 to place around your farmhouse or wherever you want to put it um on pc it's an odd thing. It's another one that's very strange. But anyway, you'll find this under placeables, under decoration. 30 quid to buy. One slot. So, yeah, bit of a strange one, but it is what it is. So that's the two mods from the second. So the mods that dropped this morning, we're going to start off with this one here. This is the Russian Doghouse. This is by Pavel Tikhonov, I think it is, Tikhonov. Five slots, 2.26 megabytes download. It's like a lot of the kennels we've had recently. But this is a Russian version. If you want to feed him, L3. He's, mm, he might come and be fed at some point. I say, nicely detailed. We've had a few kennels and dog houses and things of late, but this is, as I said, the Russian version. This you will find... Under placeables and animal pens, 1,000 to buy and five slots. Um, that's it, really. I mean, the other options you get are the ones you can pet it and throw the ball and that kind of thing. But that's what it does. Um, so there you go. That's by Pavel Tikhonov. Next up, we've got these. This is the large warehouse. This is by Cave Modding. 16.56 megabytes download. They're off three... I think in this pack the first one is nine slots and the other two are seven slots they are identical i say identical they're the same buildings just texturing i think is a little bit different but that being said very nice texturing considering the size of them i mean the wood looks like wood brickwork down the bottom guttering air conditioning units signs on them there's fire extinguishers inside i tried to google google translate and it didn't work if you are German and you know what that means, pop it in the comments. Let me know. Because I tried to put that in and it, it came up with a very weird translation. So I'm not entirely sure. 
Uh, door opens here, and there's a door at the far end. It's a cavern. I mean, it's absolutely huge. We do have a light switch. I left this one with the lights on just to remind me. Light switch is just there for lights on and off. And like I say, the next one is pretty much the same, just a slightly different colour. But two slots less. Same building, same door opens at the other end. Light switch is also here. <laughs> he says. There we go. Just lock myself in. Very nice indeed. Does I say it was 16.56 megabytes? I've got to get into the habit of doing this in order. I do get myself a little bit kind of out of sync sometimes. So, these you'll find also under placeables, under sheds. 50 grand each to buy. And there are, yeah, three. So that's the first one's nine, then seven, then seven. So you've got a green one, black one, and the wooden one. Those are your options. That is the large warehouse by Cave Modding. Moving on from there. We've got this. This is the slurry tank. This is 0 0.45 megabytes download. Two slots on console. This is by Foxy17. It's just an alternative way of getting your slurry. You can buy it in this IBC. I think it's 3,200 to buy for 2,000 litres of slurry. And then you can fill up whatever you want to fill up from it. I mean, it's, it's a slurry tank. There's not really much else to say about it. It's an IBC. It's a slurry tank. Uh, you'll find it under objects, under pallets. Yeah, 3,200, 2,000 to buy. The first one's two slots, then it drops to one. But then once you've used it and the container disappears, uh, you get your slots back anyway. So, yeah, um, and does exactly what it should. Gives you slurry when you need it. Moving on. We have got this. This is the Brantner TA16051 XXL. 7.07 .07 megabytes to download. 11 slots on console. This is by Agra Design Austria. Very nicely detailed trailer. Indeed. Does have a trailer hitch, which does work. I just tested it. Although that only will hook up to pin hitch trailers, not ball hitch trailers, because it's a pin hitch attachment sometimes you get them all hook up to both generally speaking a trailer hitch on the back like that will hook up to pin hitch trailers um, now it does say silage profi but even with the sides up all the way up like that this will take everything it says it will take this you will find under tools under trailers there you go TA 16051XXL, 24 grand, 16,000 litre capacity. Takes everything it says down the bottom there. If you've got the add on straw harvest, it will do hay and straw pellets as well. Lime, pig food, you know, the works, which is rather cool. Uh, we have the option of main colour in the older Brantner, I think it is colour. And then the new Brantner. Then design colour is the chassis. We can have it as red or black. Then we have an option on tyres of Trelleborg, Michelin, and back again. Trelleborgs, so we've got standards, wides, under Michelin, it's just standard. And then we can change the decal from yellow to white. Those are the options. Now, I do think we have the option for grain door or rear. Problem is, I haven't got my side panel, so I'm going to have to go into here and help window one. There we go. Yeah, tip side back, tip side grain door. If we do that one and unload, does the grain door and tips, as you might imagine it would do. That's what I'll do. Swing around into the light a bit. There we go, that's better, isn't it? Tip side left. Tip side right. Nice smooth animations. Oh, I like the way it swings in and swings back again. That's quite cool. And then tip side back. Oh, that's. Oh, I was going to say it's not going to tip. It opens, then tips. So there we go. That's the Brantner TA16051XXL by Agra Design, Austria.
very nice. Which brings me on to the next one, which is the Marshall QM14, which is over here. Now these are the same trailer, in essence just different configurations of the same trailer. This is 7.06 megabytes of download, 7 slots on console. This is by John Deere 2450 and Matt XJS. Interestingly, when I say interestingly, it is to me, but when I was looking at the actual install menu, and you can change between the blue and the, and the red, Marshall, the blue looked a lot darker, and I thought, oh, okay, but it looks absolutely perfect, no problem at all out in the sunlight. Again, very nicely detailed. Quite a few options available on this. Various different galvanised bits, ladders, and you know, options we can have. There's a couple of different light packages. This as well, in two different configurations, you can have the silage one um, or the standard one. The standard one you can have a cover on, but the silage one you can't. Both will take everything. I checked that as well. So even if you get the silage boards on the side, the extension, it will still take every crop type. Again, grain door, and then we have some options for light packages with um, extra lights up the sides, LED lights and various different things like that but yeah very nicely made looks very good this you'll also find under tools and trailers there you go the QM14 19,800 for the standard configuration as it says there it takes pretty much everything so we can change the rim colour to anything on that palette there is a galvanised one, which I went for. I just prefer a more metallic -y kind of look. Main colour changes the main body. You can have the Marshall Blue, or you can then scroll through and pick other colours if you want to. That is entirely your prerogative. Then design colour changes the chassis. Again, you can go for the Marshall Red, so you can swap on backwards and forwards, or you can go for you know, a black or anything you like. I mean, again, anything on that palette. Then we've got the options for, on the back, no grain door, with a grain door, Silage sides, silage sides and grain door, and then back to no grain door again. So whichever size configuration, with or without grain door, it will still take all crop types. But if you go for silage sides and grain door, when you get down to the bottom and it gives you the option for cover, there'll be no option. If we go down now, there's no option for cover. If I go back up again and put that on no grain door for example the smaller size down the bottom we've then got a cover option which puts the cover on with the color you've chosen as well so if you go for the blue it's blue or you know it changes the cover color so those that's how you get a cover if you want to cover um, so we've got the option of lizard tires Trelleborg Michelin Nokian and back lizards are a standard configuration Trelleborgs we have a few different standard tread patterns then we go to wide tyre with a couple of tread patterns. That's a quite, quite knobbly one, that one. And then back to standard. Under Michelin, again, we've got standard, wide, wide and back. So a couple of options and wide tyre choices. Then knock-ins, we've got standard or wide. And back again. Those are tyre choices. Then we've got no mudguard, coloured mudguards, galvanised mudguard. You can have coloured mudguard and rear flaps, galvanised mudguards and rear flaps. Back to no mudguards again, so however you want to go for that. Uh, then we've got lighting configura configuration standard, standard and beacon, standard extra, which puts extra lights up on the sides as well. We can then go standard extra and beacon. We can then go LED options on those lights. LED and beacon, LED extra, which puts more further up. LED extra and beacons, and then back to standard. Then parts configuration, coloured or galvanised. So you see the bits that change then. You've got the struts, a couple of side bits, the rear section and front section. Just change them to galvanised if you want. Then ladder configuration, we can have no ladders. Left ladder coloured, left ladder, uh, right coloured, and both coloured. Then we can go left galvanised, right galvanised, both galvanised, no ladders, and then, like I say, cover on or off. So quite a few options available on those trailers. I think I went with the LEDs with extra, I think. I put the lights on. I've got LEDs across the back. There, and then the higher ones. So LED extra, just seem a little bit brighter. I mean, whether they are or not. And with the beacon, I also went with the smaller capacity with grain door, which gave me the colour option. 
galvanised sides, uh, mud guards, and flaps, and I did galvanised extras as well on it. I think I went with single ladder, yeah, single ladder galvanised too. But like I say just some of the options I chose to go for. Cover open, L1 and left of the D-pad, and unload like so. Very nice indeed. That's the Marshall QM14 by John Deere 2450 and Matt XJS. Moving on. We've got these. This is the Lizard, Spurtberg and Pluto. That's the Spurtberg, that's the Pluto. These are 12.93 megabytes to download. 13 slots each on console for the first one. Um, this is by Laco, Laco, Laco Modding and Patchesh Modding. They are both 1.5 meter. Slightly different design in the fact that that's a pull um, plow and you kind of would go around in a loop with that one. This is a plow you can turn over because you've got the boards on both sides so that will rotate over so you can go up and back and up and back and just rotate it every time you go. Um, there's another option for this side but a smoother on the, on the side. The only thing, I've kind of tested it already. It does almost like a, almost a three furrow um, plow without the smoother on when you put the smoother down it kind of it plows three but almost takes one away in a kind of cultivated state it's it's interesting actually how it does it i, I don't know i mean it could just be my imagination it may not actually have a function but it, it certainly seemed to that's all i'm going to say uh, very nicely detailed mods like I say, bolt heads and all the various different things going on. This one, I think, was it both or just this one? You can have with standard mould boards, slatted mould boards. But yeah, very nice. You'll find these under tools and plows. So the Spurtberg, there is, like I said, 13 slots, requires 80 horsepower, 1.5 metre wide, run at 7 miles per hour, 6,520 to buy. So you can have it with soothing, which is that side section. Or without which takes that off if you have it with you can lift it up out the way if you don't want it so it doesn't cost anything to have it on there but you can move it out of the way if you want to and then the pluto 8940 requires 100 horsepower uh also seven miles per hour and 1.5 meters options available on that yeah this one you can change you've got universal mold boards slatted mold boards and back again and then with soothing or without soothing so again Although that one's charging you for the extra for the soothing for a grand. You might want it, you might not. It depends. So what we'll do. That's too far out. So at the moment that's with the soothing. So it kind of moves it out to one side. And as it goes... I mean, it kind of looks like as it's moving the, the earth, it kind of just keeps that nice and tidy edge. That's probably what it does. But what I can do is if I lift that and then do L1 and right stick up or down, I can move that out of the way completely. If I don't want it at all. Yeah, it just seems to add that extra bit of furrow. I don't know, I'm, I don't, am I just imagining that? It kind of added a little bit on. So is it doing a little bit of cultivating? It's hard to tell. I suppose what I should have done really was tested this on a field that had just been harvested because this has been cultivated already. If it is giving me a little bit of a cultivated state, it's difficult to tell. Um, you can also with these create fields. So if you put allow create fields on, you can create your own fields, tidy up field edges, make your fields larger if you want to. So that's the Spurtberg. And then we've got the um, Pluto. As I said, same width. You can have it with a soother if you want. Big difference with this one is, as you can see from here, L1 and, it, and square. I can turn the plough. So when I get to the end of the field, turn it over, put it back down and away I go. works exactly the same way. There you go. 
So that's the Lizard Spurtberg and Pluto by Lucko Modding, Lacko Modding, sorry, and Patyesh, Patyesh Modding. Drop that down and then disconnect. When I did it, a little bit it was a little bit off the ground. It tipped over, so you may want to let it come all the way to the ground before you actually disconnect it. Next up, we have got this. This is the where is it on my list? This is the FFT 320 disc. This is 7.43 megabytes download, seven slots on console. This is by Tarxy 007, Unorbi, and AAA Modding. It is a 3.2 meter cultivator. It comes with that kind of pallet look on it. As soon as you hook up, the pallet bits disappear. There's a couple of options, I think, for colour, and we can change the discs. I always say crenellated. I'm never sure if that's the right word or not. You can have them both smooth, rear section crenellated, front section crenellated, and both. Or you know, There's a couple of different options on that. I say a couple, more than a couple. This you'll find under disc arrows. There we go. 8,000 to buy. Requires 70 horsepower to pull. 3.2 meters and it'll run at nine miles per hour. Options available, we can change the main color to anything on that pallet, like so. And like I say, then we've got the various different configurations. So we can go configuration one, two, three, four, and then back again. Just changes the discs ever so slightly. Pallet goes once you're hooked up. Drop it down. And 3.2 meter cultivation begins. A little bit of bounce on the rear tyres there. There you go. Nice smooth animation. Nicely made, nicely detailed. That's the FFT 320 disc by Tarxy 007, Unorbi, and AAA modding. Which brings me on to, I think, the last of the mods for this review. Possibly not today. But if we get more later, like I say, that might not come till tomorrow. And it's this. This is the Fent 250 GT pack, really, in essence. It's 37.92 megabytes download. The actual main vehicle is 29 slots on console. Then we've got a few different options available on this. I say options. We've got some options on the main vehicle, but then we've got accessories that come with this. There's a two meter cultivator which I think is the one I've got on there, on the floor there. There's a three meter cultivator, which I think is on the back of that one. There's a two meter plow. We've got a two meter cedar, which is on the back of that one. We've got a three meter planter there. And then we've got the front loader, which is that attachment on there. So yeah, a few different bits and bobs in this. Um, it's an interesting design. This is a kind of, I suppose, well, I suppose with the front load a bit the way it is, an early... So, anyway, um, the cultivators are, for the 2 metre, 6 slots. The 3 metre is 4 slots, which is weird. I'm not sure why the 3 metre is less slots, but it is. The plough is 3 slots. The 2 meter cedar is 4 slots, the 3 meter planter is 8 slots, and the front loader is 4 slots. It doesn't come with any front loader attachments, that will just hook up to front loader attachments. Watch whichever front loader attachments you want, really. It does have a, th a kind of a 3 point link on the back, a 3 point link on the back, so you can put a weight on the back if you wanted to. And then the actual vehicle, like I say, there are a few different configurations on that. With You can have an open front like that for putting the front loader on. You can have it with uh, a low container, a high container, you can have it with a bale load in front. Uh, you can also have it with like the rollover protection system bar there, a more kind of surround one, and then a, a cab in essence. So yeah, quite a lot going on. It explains the, the um, megabyte download and the slot count. This is by Polo Freak uh, 211, Puma, Bremi 456 and Peter A.H. But incredibly detailed. I mean, they do look absolutely brilliant. So, you'll find the vehicle under vehicles and small tractors. We do have an option of the 250 GT standard sound or gear shift sound. I know a lot of people don't like the gear shift sound, they find it annoying. 
I personally love it. I think it's great. Like I say 29 slots for the first one, then that drops. As you can see, the one that I haven't got already, the standard sound is saying 29. The one I've got already is saying two slots, so it does drop right down. Um, it comes standard at 45 horsepower, but then we can go up a little bit from there. 14,500, which isn't too expensive, considering with all the bits and bobs, it's a kind of all-rounder, really. For a small farm setup, you can get going pretty quickly. So we'll look at the options. We can change the rim colour to anything on that palette like so design color we've got fent old green and fent white although when i changed it to fent white before and i'd like to say checking it again now um nothing changed unless that's for the it might be for the containers maybe just thinking nothing changed on design color or it could be for the framework or the cover right we'll check that because i, I did wonder so then we've got the option without platform. That's what you want it on if you have a front loader attacher. Because if you have it with the platform and then the front loader attacher, the front loader attacher in essence will come through the platform. So then you can have it capacity 2,500, capacity 3,500, or the bail loading wagon, which does come with tension straps, and then back to without platform. That's interesting. So it didn't change the colour of that. We'll see then. So then hanger top. So no hanger. So the roller, there you go. That's what changes. That's the design colour there. So that's what then becomes white. So the kind of rollover protection hanger, it says there. The main frame. Oh, it only does it on the single then. Main framework, and then you can have a almost a full cab, in essence. That front bit that opens, it looks like it opens and closes, doesn't. I didn't. There was no option. I couldn't find an option to actually close that. Um, then seat, you've got standard, and then just inside to the left, it says, actually, what I'm going to do is take that off so you can see a little bit better. There we go. Um, so seat, standard, and then it says, I think it gives you a little side seat to the left. It's in German, I can't tell. <laughs> but the seat appears next to it on the on the wheel arch. And then I think with or without a mat, as far as I can tell. Then number plates, no or Yes. You can put number plates on if you don't want them. You don't have to have them. Uh, then we've got wheel set up. We've got standard. Standard again, which changes the front tread from a, what looks like a more two-wheel drive option to a more knobbly tyre on the front. We've then got narrow tyre option, wide tyre option, narrow twins at the rear, narrow twins, which puts almost like a two-wheel drive tyre on the front, back to standard. Then engine set up. We've got GT alt 45 horsepower or the gt new 48 so an extra three horsepower added on to that uh, and then we've got front loader attacher yes or no now as you can see i think these options it's saying here is if you're on pc because there's some extra front loads i think you can download but when we get to this one the stole super one is the one we're more used to but as as you can see with the this attachment on you can't see it so it's not kind of putting anything on so what i'm going to do is go up take that off there we go and there's your front loader you can see that now so we'll go back to front loader so that's without we go for a couple of options then the stole super there we go so that's the options on the main vehicle itself as far as attachments go as you would expect, they're going to be all over the place because of the fact that they are all different attachments. The front loader attachment you'll find under front loaders. And on console, we've got the Stoll Super 1 for 3000 And like I say, that is four slots. Options available, standard or without closure stoppers. So you can have stoppers on or off on that one. We've then got under plows, the two meter plow. There you go, 3,200 to buy the plow. As I said, it was three slots, no options available. Requires 20 horsepower, which we have, and we'll run at seven miles per hour. We've then got the cultivators, two meter and three meter, 1,500, 2,500. These will both run at seven miles per hour. No options available on these. We've then got the planter, 4,500 to buy. Runs at seven miles now. I think pretty much all of it does. Uh, that will do your regular planting crops. So your soybean, sunflower, corn, uh, sugar beets, and cotton. 
no options available on that. 560 litre capacity. That's, I suppose, the only downside to it. Uh, I'm just trying to think how you could get around that because you can't put a front seed tank on. There's no front three point link. There are probably ways around it. Uh, and then under cedars, the GT seed drill, 2750, 500 litre capacity. This will also run at seven miles per hour and it's two metres wide. And that will do your regular cereal crop types, including um, oil seed, radish, and grass. Again, no options available on that. So, what I'm going to do, let's jump in this one. Now, I went for the 3,500 litre on the front of this. Lights, horn, and I've got on the back of it, let's disconnect that, the 2 metre cedar. So that's the seed drill. So when it attaches, it puts the PTO. Now, the actual main vehicle itself does have a trailer hitch and a three point link ball hitch as well at the bottom on the drawbar. On the front, L1, R1 to unload. Like so. Now, I suppose that was what I was considering. I was wondering. From first person, nicely detailed. Yeah, that's the seat there. Let's put the cedar on. Just check something. Oh yeah, I don't suppose you can. I was just thinking. Turn it on. Dropping it down puts that right into the ground. Just wondering whether the three point link's set at the wrong height, maybe. Or is it supposed to be that far into the ground? Is that what it's supposed to do? Because I did think when I brought the cultivator out, it seemed very low to the ground. I'm not sure that's supposed to go all the way into the ground like that, is it? It's not slowing it down. It's still running at seven miles per hour. We are seeding. PTO is spinning, doing all the things it should be doing. Yeah, because what I thought, yeah, that doesn't seem to be sat in there on the three-point link quite right, does it? Hmm. Possibly it will need an update, I don't know. Yeah, because I thought with seeds in the front, I could pull up alongside, but I can't because my seed is on the back, so I can't unless I can bend this round on itself and that won't pick up from the floor without something with a the bucket there's going to be a way around it so that's one of the versions we've then got this one here I went for the narrow twins on the back and the bale loading attachment on the front I went with the hanger 2 so rather than the full cab and this one has got the 3 metre cultivator on the back of it so L1, R1 and triangle to load or unload so if you've got bales on there or pallets or whatever you want to put on it straps on and off and they can be done manually or from first person in cab but then you can tip them off or unload or whatever you want to do with that that's the function that's available and as far as cultivating goes so I mean no the, even the cultivator it seems because of dust that's coming up it seems to be dragging on the ground as you drive anyway mm. So I drop it down, and again that's almost, I mean the frame is just sitting above, but again it's not slowing it down, it still goes up to 7 miles an hour and off it goes. Nice bit of movement, camera attached to the seat, which I like, it gives you a more kind of realistic feel as you're going across the ground, rather than everything moving around you, you're moving with it. Bit of flex on the front there as well. It's a cool little set, this. I, I, really, I really like it. Bit of squeak on the brakes. And then this one I went for the front loader. But I say, there is the planter as well. The plough. And the two metres cultivator, should you wish to. And that's got just the basic hanger. And then the front loader attacher. So I did wonder initially, when it was trying to let me put it on, whether or not I could get away with putting the front loader on with one of those beds but it, it doesn't appear and um, it's also a lot narrower than the beds are so I'm assuming that's why it didn't work but there you go so you can have it with your front loader attacher like so
Very nice indeed. There we go. So, that I think, looking down my list, is it for the moment. If we don't get anything else out later on, that'll be it for today. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.